Well, hey, I'll start again. Bloody thing went off, didn't it? I don't know what all that's about, and it might happen again. I was halfway through telling you about the kettlebell challenge. The swing challenge, anyway. Starting again. There's 36 people on this challenge, and, and they started yesterday, and 30 people put messages in the group, in the Facebook group, the private Facebook group where they all are. 30 people put messages in there to say they've done it. And one lady's even in New Zealand. How good is that? Someone in New Zealand, a lady called Liz, who's doing the kettlebell challenge with us all, and she's in New Zealand. My mate Bob in Newcastle is doing it. Perfect. We're going everywhere. It's fantastic. You, you see, you don't even need to be in Bath. This is what's great about it. So 30 people out of 36 posted in, said what they were doing. A couple of people even posted videos, which was amazing. Amazing. I'm so excited about it. A couple of people are still waiting for a bell to arrive. So they haven't, they haven't started yet, but they're going to start as soon as the bell arrives. So everyone's raring to go. It's fantastic. I couldn't have asked for more. It's perfect. It's perfect. If you're looking for a kettlebell, by the way, just go to our website. I've put a banner at the bottom. There's a place called Primal Strength, and you can get 5% off by clicking that link. Anyway, anyway, yes, it's all underway. And what has been surprising is a couple of people have said, this stuff looks easy on paper. You watch the videos, all of that, all of the guys who are training in the park, people who post videos about it, doing swings, it looks relatively easy, okay? But if you've got the good form and all that, it, 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 it looks easy. You can make it look easy. However, what's going on in here, your heart and lungs and your breathing and all that is a totally different story. But that's all about technique. The, the, the more you can make it look easy, the more, sorry, I was just reading something there, the more you can make it look easy, the more benefit you're going to get out of it, basically. It's all about being focused, you see? And this brings me to a, a, a story. There was a guy who I was talking to at the weekend who's similar age as me. He's nearly 40. And I'd never met him before. I was at a party. And he asked what I did... For a living, which is, you know, everyone does that, don't they? That's the f one of the first questions you get to when you talk to someone. Da, 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 da. What do you do for a living? Because it matters, apparently. Anyway, he asked what I did, so I told him. Um, I just said, you know, I get guys strong in a park. I do strength training with guys in a park. So he said, oh, you run a boot camp. And it was like, well, yes and no. <laughs> it's a group of guys, but it's not kind of beasting. It's not a beasting. So he started to say uh, he'd joined one a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago. And apparently some guy had approached him and a bunch of other fellas and said, I'm, I'm going to set something up for you. What do you want? And they were all like, well, we want to get fitter, we want to get stronger. This wasn't in Bath, by the way, otherwise when I had him down the park. Anyway, he wanted to get fitter, stronger, lose a bit of weight, usual sort of stuff, okay? So this guy was like, okay, I'll set it up. So he got them all down into a field, made them, they all turned up, they all paid £3 a session. £3 a session, right? This is, this, is, this is what loads of people do. £3 a session, right? What are you going to get for three quid? I'm about to tell you. £3 a session... He beasted the crap out of them, right? And they all couldn't walk the next day. Not one of them. They were all whinging about it. They were all going on about how, how it was horrible. It was an absolute horrible. They all felt like thrown up at the end. They were all knackered. They couldn't walk. One of them was, one, was supposed to be playing golf the next day. So he went down to the course and he couldn't swing his golf club. He's a really good golfer, apparently. He couldn't swing his golf club because he was so knackered. He was so... Stiff. He was so sore. And that, that, that is not going to get you fitter and stronger and healthier. It, it might make you lose some weight, but it's not really the best way to do it. If, if, you just, if you're unconditioned and just starting out as well, if you get a right good old-fashioned beast in, you're just going to get injured. So that's why... When guys come to come to the park, every session we build them up a little bit, build them up a little bit, build momentum, consistency, commitment, build that momentum, 
and they get stronger every time. So then instead of instead of walking away feeling knackered, they walk away actually feeling better than they did at the beginning of the session. And then across the weeks and months, then we'll eventually do some testing. You know, not a beasting, but we'll say, right, we're gonna we're gonna really work you hard today. And by the end of it, they're like, blimey, I wouldn't have been able to do that three months ago if I did, or if I did, I'd be injured, knackered. You know, they'd be like that the next day. Couldn't walk, couldn't play, got all of this sort of stuff. And that's not what it's about. It's about being every day strong. That's what we're after, right? You want to be able to do things throughout life without having to walk like John Wayne. Like, you've shot yourself. I've said that before, but that's how it goes, okay? And this is why I set up the Swing Challenge, which you're too late to get on now. But that's why I set that up. And what's been great about that is people have been posting into that group and saying, this is harder than I thought it would be. However, it's not too hard because you do it to your level as well. So they're doing it to their level and they're getting the workout. And this is in, in two days, right? We've got 21, uh, 29 days left. So this is in two days. So everyone's getting the benefit out of it already. So just it's just a quick one to say if you're going to somewhere and they're just beasting the crap out of you, or if you're going down the gym and beasting the crap out of yourself, and just making it so you get sweaty and tired because you want to lose weight, just think, just have a think about whether that's, the, whether that's enjoyable. Are you enjoying it? Is it the best thing you could be doing? If you love it, keep doing it. Not a problem. If you're walking around every single day absolutely knackered, I know, I know what it feels like because I used to actually do this and then I realised it wasn't a good idea. I used to do it. I used to work. I used to do two sessions a day. I used to go down the gym at lunchtime and then down the gym after work every day and beast the crap out of myself. And I was knackered. I was knackered all the time. I lost a lot of weight, but I was bloody knackered. And now I'm actually weighing more. I've got more muscle, less body fat, and I feel great. And I can go and do whatever I want, whenever I want, which is brilliant. So tomorrow I'm going to go for a, a loaded walk with 16 kilos on my back because I can. It's just, you know, I wouldn't have been able to do that a few years ago because I would have beasted myself for the last few days and then, like, going for a walk, going for a long walk would have been like, well, that's, that's a tough workout, whereas now I'll just be able to do it. It'll not be easy, but I'll be able to do it. So, yeah, is what you're doing now helping? Is it working? Is beasting yourself working? If it is, great. If you like it, do it. If it's not, if you're sick of it and you want to actually get real life real world fitter and stronger so you get less injury and you've got more chance of or you've got less chance of getting injury further down the line as well because as we get older I'm a 40 year old man I'm losing every 10 years I should be losing 5% muscle mass so the muscle mass I've got now I should be I should have 5% less in 10 years time and that will be happened since I was 30 so it'll be so I should have lost 5% of muscle over the last 10 years where I've actually put muscle on because I've been lifting weights. And it's not all about putting big bulky muscle on, because I haven't got that. Because <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not like that. It's about keeping lean muscle, losing a bit of body fat, and the more of that you've got, the more muscle you've got, the more le nice lean muscle, okay, the, the better chance you've got of being healthier in the future as well. It's good for you. It keeps you going, it makes you fitter, it makes you stronger, it keeps you healthier. As long as you're eating a little bit right as well, you don't have to eat like a, or live like a monk and don't have to give up booze, you don't have to give up eating carbs, all that sort of stuff, give up eating fat, whatever. You've got to eat something, right? So eating the right mix of protein, fat and carbs helps you out. That's what I'm helping out with the guys in the May Swing Challenge at the minute. I was talking about that this morning, one of them said, do you want us to track what we eat? And I said, yes. You don't. You don't have to post your. Um, you don't have to post meals in Facebook and all that because I don't really care about that. As long as you track what you're eating, you know you're doing well. You don't track. You don't win. So that's it for now. I just want you to consider: is that that is what you're doing right now? If it's making you sore, tired, so you can't actually do the stuff you enjoy, like if you want to play golf or a bit of tennis or whatever, and you can't actually move. Is it working for you? If not, hit me up. I'll put a link below here. You can get on my email list. I'll have a chat with you. We'll get in conversation and work out what you do want and see what I can do for you. Okay, so there you go. That's all it is for today. I'm gonna to whack the link in now.
Tatty, bye.